Good morning, everyone. This is John Hilario. You are listening to the webinar entitled How Managing Your Time Can Help You Set Your Date with Freedom. Tonight, we have an interview with a person who is experiencing exactly this thing. Alfie Abiabi, who is in Manila right now, and her problem is the problem we a lot of us wants to have. That is, she is now inundated. Can you type that word? Can, can, you, can you spell that word, inundated? She, is now, she now has offers to work from home part-time while she is still working in a company full-time. So anybody here wants to have that kind of freedom, you're in, you now have people wanting you to work for them online, but you're still working on your day job. So this is a kind of problem which is great to have. So if you want that have kind of problem, then stay with us for the next 30 minutes while we interview Alfie Abiabi. And if at the end of that, you want to ask her questions, go ahead, prepare your questions, and type them now. Lagay nyo na agad. Hi, Randy. Yung mga tanong ninyo. Okay, I, my name is Jomer Hilario, and I do this for fun. I teach people how to work online. Uh, this is what I love to do. And the long story of it, I'm not going to introduce myself to you at all. Aside from the fact that I've been doing this for, since um, 10 years ago, when I hired my first virtual assistant 10 years ago. And, and since then, I got the attention of Brother Bo Sanchez. And now, I actually manage the virtual assistants of Brother Bo Sanchez for him. Okay, ma? At this, but we don't call them virtual assistants anymore. We call them virtual professionals. Okay, so if I use the word virtual assistant, it means I'm talking about uh, a long time ago. Okay, if I use the word virtual professional, it means I'm talking about now. So since I have said the word now, and you have answered me my question that you want that life. Who wants that life? You, you're inundated with offers, and, and, and your big problem now is managing your time. If you want that life, say, yes, I want that life. And let's say hello to Alfie. Hi, Alfie. Kamusta ka na? Magsalita ka na. <laughs> Good evening po. Marinig na ako kay Jomar. Ayan. So, eto na. Mag, pwede ka na magsimula. I, I, I give you the floor, and I'll, I'll let you speak and tell your story to everyone. God bless everyone. May you be blessed by Alfie's story. Go. Why? Ang bilis ba? Ganun talaga. Nakikita na ba kayo, Jomar? Yung Nakikita na ba kayo? Nakikita na po? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can okay. go ahead. Okay. Hello, everyone. Good evening po. Ah... Uh, Masaya po ako kasi nag-attend po kayo dahil kagaya nyo, ganyan din po ako dati. Hanggang ngayon, nag-attend pa rin po ng webinar. So, thank you for being here to attend this webinar. So, it's a very big opportunity for you to be part of Jomar's online courses. So, tell yourself you have done a great job. So, anyway, um, gusto ko lang po mag-share regarding sa aking buhay virtual professional po. So, this is me, Alfie Abiabi. I'm a single parent. So, may anak po akong lalaki. So, I am here in uh, Caloocan City. So, I'm staying at Caloocan City while working in Ovaliches. So, ang province ko po is General Santos City. So, my son and my family are in General Santos City. So, this is a very reason why I'm doing this um, virtual career. So, anyway, kwento ko lang po, paano ko po na-encounter yung work at home. So, I encountered kayo, Jomar, last April 2014 pa po. That was last year during TRC Gold Meeting. So, may nag-share lang po sa harapan. So, I got interested. Pinag-aralan ko yung binigay na flyers, then after that, in-explore ko lang po yung webinar, at least free naman po yun. So, attend lang ko ng attend. Then, last July 2014, nag-enroll po ako sa VA, uh, VA 2013 na course. So, okay naman po siya, natapos ko naman po siya after three months, and then before waiting sa corrections, eh, nag-apply na po ako. So, marami din pong invites from online jobs that PH, um, ano pa nga yun, Elans, tapos nag-post din po ako sa Odes, Odes pa yun siya dati. Kaya lang, karamihan na offer sa akin is full-time. So, 
gusto ko is part-time. And then yung uh, job na hinahanap ko is more in accounting. Kasi po, uh, si paper by profession po ako, so yung job ko po is more on accounting. Anyway, this is my family. My father, my mother, tsaka ang anak ko, kasama yung makaklase niya. Actually, uh, isa lang po akong babae sa pamilya namin. Up, uh, tatlo po ang lalaki. So, unik, unik kaiha po ako. So, I am the eldest. And, ito po yung big why ko. Why I'm doing <clears throat> this uh, online career, being a virtual professional. Kasi dati, uh, nagpa-plano na talaga ako mag-business. Kaya lang, nauna ko itong na-encounter ang work at home. So, I got interested, pinag-aralan ko siya, naging open mind lang po ako. So, hanggang sa na-addict na po ako, sa totoo lang. <laughs> Parang lagi na lang nakaharap sa, sa laptop ko po. So, yun, sa ka-attend po ng webinar, there was a time na nag-guest po si Sir J. McLean. And then, hindi ko talaga ito siya makakalimutan eh, na naging habit ko po, yung shinare niya na how to um, accomplish your goal. So, dapat isulat talaga natin yung goals natin. So, what is our goal, especially for the month? Uh, ang yung why, bakit gusto mo yung gagawin? And then, when are you going to accomplish it? At saka yung how. Saka every day, uh, naging habit ko yun. Parang I think tag start ako October 2014 na sinusulat ko yung monthly goals ko tapos every morning nire-recite ko yan sa bintana. <laughs> Ayan. Tapos later on napapansin ko but parang nag ano na fulfill yung mga goals ko ganun. Sabi ko ang ganda nito ah. so kaya tinuloy-tuloy ko. Then after that nag-take po ako ng VA 202 course. Tapos uh, I think February, natapos ko siya. And then, kung na-remember po ninyo, nag-share po ako dati na nagkaroon po ako ng interview, as in personal interview. Um, that was a food supplement company. They were looking for an FBS specialist. Kaya lang, binarat ako. Tapos, parang feeling ko, parang kinopya na rin nila yung... Uh, yung pinadala ko na ano, information kasi masyado lang tayong generous. So, kung, na, kung naalala nyo yung, ano ha, yung naging guest din ako ni Kuya Jomar, I think February yun siya. February or um, katapusan, ay, first week ng March, kung malala nyo. Pero, maswerte naman po ako kasi uh, pagdating ng March 15, nagkaroon din po ako ng local client. So, nag-serve po ako sa kanya uh, from March to July 31. So, Starting August hanggang ngayon, bale, dalawang client po, uh, overseas client na po ang sinserve ko. So, um, so, this is a, an event last May 29, kung tama po ako. Uh, this was all about the date with freedom, so I was invited na magiging hindi naman masabing speaker, parang sharer na siya na sharer uh, during sa ano tawag nito, yung pag-change change ng table para mag-share doon sa mga fellow VPs. Actually, etong date with freedom na to, sinulat ko rin po to sa kumbaga pa naging goal ko rin po ito kaya tawa ko ng tawa nung in-invite ako na maging uh, na maging sharer. Sabi ko, nako, grabe, power talaga pag sinusulat yung goal kasi ano, natutupad siya. So, ano to siya sa, nakalimutan ko na yung lugar, sorry. <laughs> Tapos, ang isa dun sa mga um, guest po ay si Bo Sanchez. So, avid fan talaga ako ni Bo Sanchez. So, ever since yung mga audiobooks niya po ay pinapakinggan po po, no? So, nang dahil din po kay Bo Sanchez, na-meet ko si Kuya Jomar, so parang gano'n na rin po. Blessing na po silang dalawa sa akin. And then, 
Pasalamat din po ako kay Kuya Jomar kasi generous po siya na mag-share um, ng mga courses na very beneficial sa online, uh, what you call that, online business, no? Yung pagiging virtual professional. And then, ito po si Bo Sanchez. And then here, ito po yung ginagawa namin. So, palipat-lipat po kami ng table. Tapos, isi-share po namin yung pagiging, uh, yung mga experiences namin as VA. VA kasi yan dati yung tinatawag, ngayon VP na po. So, virtual assistant. So, nag-share. Yan, kasama ko po si Nolan. Um, naging uh, katimate ko rin po si Nolan sa pag-share, share. Yan. So, palipat-lipat siya ng table. Ah. Uh, I-share mo doon sa fellow VPs ano yung managing experience mo, sa mga clients mo, at saka ano yung pwede mong ma-share din sa kanila. Eto, kuha din ito ni Nolan. Ayan, nakabox ako. <laughs> Pasingit lang. Kasama ko rin si Lalid. And then, andyan din po si Kejomar. So, hindi ko akalain <laughs> na gagawin ako ng poster. Dahil sa aking, ano tawag nito, pasabi na grabe, power, inspiring to have a big change as, as a choice. Hindi ako na-expect na ginawa ako ng ganitong poster. So, naging turning point po ng VP life ko yung pag-attend ng Date with Freedom. Kasi, number one, nagkaroon ako ng maraming connection. Nagkaroon ako ng maraming friends. So, na-meet ko in person si Lynn na makulit ako dati, na nag nagtatanong sa kanya na humingi ng tulong so at least nakita ko na siya in person si Miss Jones yan dati sa webinar ko lang yan siya nakikita si si Nolan yun isa na yun hindi ko inexpect na siya pa yung maging kabadi ko sa pag-share kasi parang ina-idol ko talaga si Nolan eto batang bata pa maraming alam ganyan ganyan tapos ang taas-taas pa ng Um, what they call that, yung rate na nare-receive niya sa mga clients. So, may pa iba. Namit ko in person si Ninya, si, si Anne. Uh, marami pa, as in marami pa. Hindi ko na mabilang. So, from attending that event, so nagkaroon ako ng maraming friends. Tsaka iba talaga pag maka-attend ka ng live event. Kasi parang uh, iba yung feeling mo na naging part ka doon sa learning process, nakasama mo yung mga virtual professionals. Then second is, makagain ka rin ng ideas. So, ang ginawa ko, tanong ako ng tanong kay Nolan, kinukulit ko siya, sabi ko, Nolan, saan ka ba nag-post ng resume mo? Sabi niya sa akin, sa Craigslist. Sabi ko, hala, hindi pa ako nakapost dyan sa Craigslist. Ha? Ano kayong ginawa mo? Ayun, nag-share sa akin. So, Alfie, ganitong gabin mo, ganyan, ganyan. So, Tinake note, uh, nag-jot down ako, ano yung ginawa niya, ganyan-ganyan. So, sinunod ko lang. Na, which in turn, nakatulong talaga siya na sobra-sobra. Kaya nagkaroon ako ng uh, maraming invites ngayon. So, third is, um, joining live event, meron kayong communication after. So, just like... Uh, Si Chad, si Chad Godoy, kung kilala nyo. Eh, dati, nagpi-PM lang yan siya sa akin. So, hi, hello, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos, although hindi ko man siya, uh, tawag nito, yung nakita talaga doon sa, ano, sa live event. So, nagkaroon kami ng sharing of ideas, ganon. Tapos, nagsishare din kami ng mga tools. And then, after that, Um, palagian na kami nag-ano, uh, nag-share ng mga suggestions hanggang sa naging teammates po kami sa isang client namin sa Arizona sa ngayon na ang business is real estate. So, ibig sabihin, maganda na mag-attend ng live event kasi hindi sa marami ka ng uh, maging connection or friends mo at the same time, eh, pag may halimbawa, ah, uh, meron silang client na nag, uh, naghahanap din ng uh, skills na 
meron kang i-offer. So, possible, pwede ka nilang i-refer. So, isa din yun. And then, na-meet ko rin, eto si Christine, si Christine Ravas Bachelor. <laughs> so, ano din, online lang din, although nasa Tacloban siya, chika-chika lang kami, um, FB message, imakulit din ito si Christine, nagpapaturo siya sa akin, na ginagawa ko, tinuturoan ko rin siya, hanggang sa naging close kami online, at saka naging part ko rin po siya sa team namin para sa aming UK client na sineserve po namin. Actually, nag-start lang po kami um, last week, August 26. So, yun. So, naging okay ang lahat dahil doon sa um, live event. So, how I manage my time? So, first is set priorities. So, number one, ang ginagawa ko, wala na pong TV. So, dapat at 8pm, mag-online work na po ako. So, ang ginagawa ko rin po, before going to bed, sinusulit ko na rin po yung mga dapat pong gagawin for the next day. Tapos, pagkagising ko, uh, 4.30am, inumpisahan ko na po yung ginagawa Uh, yung mga dapat pong gagawin. Kasi at 6 o'clock, nagre-ready na po ako for office work. Kasi I have a day job from 8 to 6 p.m. So, ayun. Uh, we have to set priorities. Then second is focus. Ang ibig sabihin nito, we must finish one task at a time. So, one work at a time lang po. Uh, wag lang tayo ma-overwhelm sa mga pinapagawa ng kliyente. Basta tapusin muna natin yung dapat nating unahin na tapusin saka tayo pupunta sa ibang task. Then aside from that, etong focus na to, na-sacrifice ko po ang pananood ng Nathaniel sa ABS-CBN <laughs> sa Channel 2. Siyempre, uh, sa umpisa, medyo mahirap. Pero, kailangan focus ka talaga. Kung meron kang gusto sa buhay mo, dapat i-instill mo yung discipline sa sarili mo at i-focus mo talaga na ma-accomplish mo yung goal mo. So, yan po. Yung set your priorities and focus. So, Things I want to share to my fellow VPs. So, eto. Pinakauna-una is courage is equals to doubt plus action plus commitment. Eto, hindi ko po ito makakalimutan. From listening the VA 101 seminar ka, Joma, regarding content marketing strategy. Kasi... Paulit-ulit ko yung pinapakinggan at saka lagi itong sinasabi na courage is equals to doubt plus action plus commitment. So, ibig sabihin, we just have to be aggressive sa pag-reach natin ng goals. Oo, normal lang po yung, yung kabahan ka, magda-doubt ka, ang daming tanong sa isipan mo, pero pag may faith ka na kayang-kaya mo to, so, ang gagawin mo lang, Just act on it and then you commit yourself na gagawin mo po siya. The next is be very confident wherever you go, especially when you are talking with your client. Tsaka na-experience ko talaga yan kasi na-observe ko sa mga clients na na-encounter ko, hindi nila alam yung mga ginagawa natin. So, if we know na we can suggest something better for their business, dapat sabihin natin sa kanila kasi kaya nga tayo hinar nila kasi nagtiwala sila sa atin. So, you just be very confident to to share your ideas na maging successful yung business clients mo. So, actually, confidence naman talaga po ang puhudan sa online work. So, it's how you present yourself.
So third is we have to develop yourself and add more skills. Tulad ko, hindi lang ako nag-rely doon sa V8 2013. So, kailangan ko pa pong malaman or mag-enroll ng, iba, ng ibang courses ni Kuya Jomar para madagdagan pa yung skills ko. Kaya nag-enroll pa rin pa ako ng VA202, ganyan. Uh, it's all about Facebook uh, ads and LinkedIn marketing. Kasi po, ang sabi po kasi ni Jim Rohn, uh, isa din po ito sa mga influencers ko po, si Jim Rohn, sabi niya, you have to have more than one skill and learn more than one language. Yan po ang sabi niya sa pinapakinggan ko na audio. So, kailangan sa panahon po ngayon, sa generation po, ang uh, sabi po niya is we have to uh, learn more skills. And then, uh, share what you have learned. Ito, aside sa pagbablogging natin, syempre may mga assignments tayo, tapos isi-share natin yun through blogging. So, it's best na share din po natin dun sa mga fellow VPs. Kasi alam nyo, napapansin ko, pag nag-share ka, may ibibigay din sila sa iyo na, na hindi mo rin alam. So, we just have to be generous enough na magtuturo, magturo, mag-share, at saka, uh, what you call that, maging patient din po tayo na magturo din, no? Kasi, uh, by teaching, nag-learn din po tayo. So, it's best na you share also what you have learned. Kasi, ika nga, sabi is, you have to give in order to receive. Ito ang paborito ko. <laughs> Explore and experiment. Palagi ko po itong sinasabi. Lalo na po sa sa teammate ko kay Chad, kay Christine, minsan kay Nolan, ganyan. Lagi kaming nag, nag, ano, nag-PM sa Facebook. Kasi ako, halimbawa, hindi ko na-hit yung target ko na goal. Tulad nung gumawa ko ng Facebook ads. Nagtataka ako, bakit kaya merong benefit at saka pain ako nilalagay, pero may something kulang pa rin. Kasi, pag nagraran ako ng ad, two conversions, three conversions, sabi ko, paano ko itong gagawin na magiging two digits na to? So, ang ginawa ko, tanong ako ng tanong. Kanino, uh, kung kanino-kanino, minsan nagtatanong ako kay Ninya, nagtatanong ako kay Ralph, ganyan. So, hindi ako nahihiya magtanong. Bata man sa akin, umatanda man sa akin, wala akong pakialam. Basta, gusto ko lang i-hit yung target goal ko. At saka, ang ginagawa ko is experiment ko siya para makita ko at saka ma-feel ko yung effect ng result kung tama ba tong ginawa ko. So, nung nagbasa ako ng blog ni Ralph, nagbasa ako ng blog ni Miss Jones, nagbasa ako ng blog ni, ni Chad, marami pa ako nakuha ang idea. So, ang ginawa ko, in-experiment ko si Facebook Ads. So, from then on, ayun, nakuha ko yung target na kailangan pala may call to action dun sa Facebook ads. Yun pala yung kulang sa akin. So, nakaran po ako ng ads for four days, almost nakahit siya ng ano eh, 100 conversions. So, ang saya-saya ako nun, sabi ko, eto pala maganda pag nag-explore tayo at saka nag-experiment. So, hindi dapat tayo maging matakot na mag-explore at saka ma-experiment. Kasi hindi naman siguro mag-explode itong laptop or computer natin pag nag-experiment pa tayo. Then, eto, ask help. We need to ask help. So, asking help is a virtue of being humble. Eto din yung shinair ni Brother Bo Sanchez during sa Date with Freedom. Na porket marami ka ng alam, porket marami ka ng... As skills, so we have to humble ourselves by asking help from others para mas lalo pa tayong maging productive, mas lalo pa tayong um, makatulong din po sa iba. So, asking help, hindi natin sabihin sa sarili na kung, ah, kung hingi ako ng tulong, baka sabihin na 
ang boba-boba ko na or nahihiya ako, parang parang pride yung ano, yung nagiging issue. So, dapat sa online world, marunong ka rin mag-ask ng help. And you must be humble enough to ask help from people whom you think na makakatulong po sa iyo. Then eto, pray always. Before you begin your work, and at the end of the day, we should always pray. At saka, everything that we do, everything that we decide, uh, kung maka-encounter man tayo mga challenges along the way, kasi hindi naman po yung maiwasan, may mga bagay na hindi natin kontrolado. So, we just have to pray eh, because it's also a sign of being humble. At saka kung marami, na ka, marami ka ng worries, marami ka ng fears, kasi normal lang po yun. So, pray ka lang, tapos i-entrust mo everything to God na everything will just flow smoothly. Kasi po, kung isipin, uh, kasi po, tulad nun, uh, nag nagta-target na po ako last year pa, December 2014, tinatarget ko na po na maging full-time VP na po ako. Kaya lang, hindi pa talaga buo yung, yung self ko. Although, dinadasal ko na na gusto ko na magiging full-time VP. So, ibig sabihin, kulang pa yung action ko. So, sa siging dasal na dasal ko, since February, pa makahanap ako ng na to turn down ako, ganyan. Tapos, uh, maraming offers, kaya lang, full-time, ganyan-ganyan. Huwag, huwag lang tayo mag, ano, uh, what they call that, hindi lang tayo mag, uh, madaling na-discourage. Kasi, minsan, yung inaakala mo na mangyayari sa iyo hindi pala iba pala yung plano ni Lord sa iyo so i think um, sa experience ko baka eto na talaga yung um, right time para sa akin kasi sunod-sunod na eh parang inuulan na na ako ng mga kliyente kasi hindi na nga ako nag-email hindi na ako nag-apply pero sila mismo ang nagpapadala ng invite sa akin so sabi ko Grabe, sobra-sobra na. Tulad nung last August 6, I have five invites. Pero sabi ko, nako, parang gusto-gusto ko na taga mag full time. Parang, parang nanggigigil na ako kung pwede palang tatanggapin ko lahat. Kasi naghahanap na sila ng mga FB ad specialist or about Facebook marketing. Tapos kanina, may, may nag-call lang sa akin from Skype. Hindi ko alam kung nasaan galing yun. Kaya kinausap ko lang. Yun pala, naghahanap din sila ng ano, Facebook ad specialist. So, masasabi ko na na dati, kung inisnab-isnab man ako <laughs> ng mga inapplyan ko, ngayon, sila na ang lumalapit sa akin. So, ibig sabihin, uh, maybe this is a right time. So, Pag na-fail tayo, wag lang tayo na ma-discourage na parang feeling mo, nako, grabe ng effort ko. Basta, continue lang. Hindi lang tayo mag-give up. Dahil kung ang 10 doors ay nag-close, maybe the 11th door will open for you. So, basta never give up lang. At saka, ano lang, kapit lang kay Lord. Yun lang talaga. Kasi, syempre, based na rin sa experience ng aking family, no, as in, sobra-sobra ng gawin ng mga challenges namin. So, kung hindi strong yung faith mo, so madali kang malugmok. At kung napupuno ka na ng mga nega, iwasan mo. Pumunta ka doon sa mga positive people. So, eto po yung aking quote. So, this is from Jim Rohn. So, make yourself valuable in the market. Start working hard on yourself than your job. So, this is from Jim Rohn. Okay po. Kid Jomar, okay na po. Thank you very much, Alpi. Galing-galing naman. Sobra. Galing-galing. So, Salamat ano? Salamat po. <laughs> Ang dami niya sinabi, no? <laughs> dami ba? <laughs> okay lang yan. Okay lang yan. Sige lang po. Ang importante, uh, naiintindihan ninyo yung sinabi niya, totoo. <laughs> totoo. <Ano? laughs> and for those na nagtatanong, ano yung VA202? Paano ako magiging mag-Facebook ads? Ayan na sinasabi ko sa inyo. Totoo, hindi. Lasting <laughs> ko tinuro sa inyo, di ba? 
Last year ba? <laughs> oh, last year. Last year, ano, in demand na, no? Lanak oh, oh. Ay, gabi, Kuya Jomar, ang dami. Sobra. Kasi, Madami naganap. <laughs> kasi, sabi naman sa inyo, pag yung Facebook na yan, ginawa niya yung pinramis niyang gagawin, eh, ginawa niya. <laughs> Ayan na nga. Kita niyo. Ginawa na nila yung ginawa, sinabi nilang gagawin nila. Gagawin nilang mandatory ang Facebook ads. Yan ang nangyari. Yan. Yan ang experience ngayon ng mga business owners. Mandatory na ang Facebook ads. Which means, in demand na ang sino man ang marunong mag... Hindi lang marunong mag-boost, di ba? Dapat magaling kang gumawa ng Facebook ads. May tinatawag na conversion, di ba? Ano yung conversion na yan? Kinututo ko yan sa inyo. Pag magaling ka gumawa ng ads at walang conversion, ang tawag sa iyo ay, ang tawag sa iyo Alfi. Marunong ka gumawa ng ad, pero walang conversion. Ang tawag sa iyo. Ganyan din ako dati. <laughs> ano ba tawag nun? Tawag walang dun, conversion. <laughs> wala, wala kang walang ka-hire sa iyo. <laughs> Di ba? Pag wala kang conversion, walang ka-hire sa iyo kasi conversion means may mayroong posibleng kukitain yung kliyente. Yes, the client, no? Sige, ikaw mag-explain. Dali! Explain mo. Conversion, example, yung email addresses. Kasi sa Facebook marketing, having email addresses from prospective clients, these are considered gold sa business. Kasi pag meron ka ng email addresses ng mga prospects, yung mga prospective clients mo, pwede ka na makipag-communicate sa kanila. At saka, mas mataas yung percentage na bibili sila sa iyo kasi captured, kung maga-captured market mo na sila eh, naging target clients mo na sila eh, or target audience mo na sila based doon sa sinet mo na criteria. Kaya, uh, masabi talaga na maraming naghahanap ng Facebook ad specialist. Yan, yan ang totoo po. Okay. Um, So, naging sulit, di ba? Uh, Opo. Yung, last year. Last year lang. <laughs> oh, may tanong kayo, ihanda nyo, uh, because uh, uh, papainumin ko muna ng tubig si, ano, si Abby. Then, she'll, she'll answer your questions. Um, we're on time. Abby will stop answering questions by 10 o'clock kasi may meeting siya sa work. O, oh, di ba? Okay ba? Saan ang, saan ang meeting mo sa work? Aalis ka ba ng bahay? Ay, hindi po, Kuya Jomar. Online pa rin po. Ay, online din. Pwede pala yun. Opo. <laughs> Pwede pala yun. <laughs> Posible pa lang mangyari yun. May online meeting ka. Ayan nga po, may online meeting siya. Kasi nagtatrabaho po siya sa internet. Amen. Uh, diba? Sinong gusto ng trabaho sa internet? Ayan. May meeting ka online. Bahay lang. So, ganyan. So, handaan yung mga tanong nyo. In the meantime, I will tell you all about the event na inattenda ni, ni Abby. And that's the Date with Freedom. Then, before I tell you about the Date with Freedom and you ask questions, at the end of the webinar, for those na matyagang maghintay ang end of the webinar, I'm going to teach you a brand new lesson called How to Start Your Online Presence for Newbies and Non-Techies. Okay? Mabilis lang na lesson nyo on about five five topics. Di ba? Bilis, lima. <laughs> and again, the topic is how to start your online presence for newbies and non-techies. I will give it to you guys tonight if you stay to the end of the webinar, which is going to happen before 10 o'clock. Okay? So, ready na kayo? Uh, I'd like to discuss uh, quickly yung date with freedom. Ano ba yun? Di ba may mga pictures si Abby? May natatanong, kailan ba mangyayari ang susunod na date with freedom? Alam nyo noon, every, every month may seminar ako. But because I'm a marketer, I listen to what people say. Eh, sorry, I will listen to what people do. <laughs> listen. Pakisulat nga yan. Listen to what people do. Okay? I actually do not listen very much to what people say. I listen to what you do. At sabi, ni, sabi ninyo, nung unang panahon, ayaw nyo ng every month na seminar, Jomar. So eventually, nangyari, naging every year ang seminar to. So if people are looking for The next date with freedom, virtual career summit and seminar. Wala po. Wala po ako <laughs> next, next year, siguro. For sure, meron akong virtual career summit. Yung seminar, probably no. Probably just the summit. I'm not sure. Because I'm going to concentrate on teaching you brand new skills, not like the instant virtual skills. So, 
for those of you looking to attend a live seminar, ang choice nyo is actually instant virtual skills today or the marketing success formula, which I'll discuss mamaya mamaya. So, ano ba yung virtual careers summit and seminar? So, that's the event I did the other months, no May. And my vision there is that you will live a life where you can be with your loved ones. Isang hakbang mo lang, nasa tabi mo na sila. That's the vision of the virtual careers. And the reason, one of the, the visions why I'm here in front of you today, running a free webinar for the last, uh, what, three years? Three years, I think, yeah. Three years na ako nag-webinar ng libre. The, my, my vision is also that you travel and work where you want. Okay? Where you want to go, where you want to travel, you work there, it's okay. You can stay for a long time. I all, my also my vision is that you will earn a six-figure income doing part-time work sa bahay. You know, like me, six-figure income. When I'm talking about income, I actually mean net. I don't mean including expenses. I mean excluding expenses. Maganda ba yan? Sabihin niyo ko maganda. Maganda yan. <laughs> six-figure net. <laughs> okay. Now, if, you, if your dream is to resign and enjoy freedom, then keep listening. So I'm going to answer your question. VA202, that's an advanced course. If you want the basic course, ito yon, Date with Freedom. Okay? It's now downloadable, the Date with Freedom. And this is a picture of all the virtual professionals na nahakot namin sa isang corner <laughs> during that event. And this is a picture of everyone, which you saw. And the answer to the question, meron bang job security sa virtual career? Actually, yes, as long as you follow what the Date with Freedom says. Uh, because virtual careers give you monthly income instead of project-based. I actually discourage project-based. Di ba, Alfie? Ayoko na. Ayoko may endo-endo. Ginawa ni Alfie, nag-endo siya eh. Pero <laughs> do not encourage it. <laughs> Kasi wawa lang kayo. <laughs> Ang pinakaunang mong gagawin when you get trained is go to the date with freedom. Okay? The, because the, there you will get the edge in, in a, using an improved online portfolio and resume, which I invented. Okay. You will get practice on how to present your best self to prospective clients. So the website to go is um, jlar.com slash datewithfreedom. Okay. And let me just go click on that. I'll give you three reasons why you should get the Date with Freedom downloadable seminar today. Just very quick uh, reasons why you should get one. Because, mahal ko kayo. Hindi, hindi ang dahilan. Three reasons. First reason. The entire course is meant is me. I'm mentoring you, okay? Um, maraming storytellers dyan. Uh, that's the second reason. But essentially me. I've been teaching people how to become virtual professionals since 2007. Okay? And sabi ni Joanne Noas, Jomers events are very good eye-openers uh, to value oneself, your true worth as a person, and the need to continue to work hard on yourself and not on your job to become valuable. As you can see, ang sabi ni Joanne, Hindi ako great. At sinabi niya, you are the one who's great. Okay? Sinas sabi sa ni Joan, if you attend an event of mine, or if you download an event of mine, this is what you will feel. This is what you will get. You will understand your value. Ikaw ang sikat dito sa Date with Freedom, hindi si Jomar. Okay? Now, I've been a guru trainer for virtual professionals since I began. And sabi ni Jen, Jenny De La Cruz Gumin, Gumi, Gum, Guimong. <laughs> Obvious ba na rehearse ko to? I've been working at home for the last three years, but I haven't really gotten a long-term job. Maybe because there has been a lot of competition, but after my sister shared to me Jomar Hilarious free webinars and VA trainings, I've gotten so excited to learn more. Jomar Hilary would teach you step-by-step step, a learning system wherein you won't get pressured into worrying about having to pay so much on short courses. This has been a blessing in disguise for me. I'm really thankful that it has been shared to me. Sabi ni Jeannie. Okay. Siya pa rin ang, ano, di ba? Nag-work na siya in the past, pero nakatulong pa rin ako kahit na nag-online job na siya before. So I'll give you a second reason. In the Data Freedom, you not only learn from me, you'll learn, learn from Anne, Nina, Maribic Bea. You'll be inspired by the stories and lessons from Kapwa virtual professionals who are the guests in the virtual and the VP uh, date with freedom. Plus, as a surprise, we actually interviewed four relatives of virtual professionals because believe it or not, sila maging office mate mo. <laughs> Kasi kasama mo sila sa bahay. 
and whatever they say is so important to your future happiness. That's why I made sure na eye-opener, makita niya ang feedback ng mga relatives ng mga virtual professionals on the stage. And you will also learn inspirational talk on how to persevere by Brother Jay Yugawin, a feast builder in Alabang. And you'll also be blessed, Brother Bo Sanchez, who actually opens day two of the Date with Freedom. Okay? He joined us and, and he taught us something very, uh, from coming from Bo, something you would expect, but he taught us something very striking. Nung pagpasok niya doon, I think, may meron siya nakuha insight just by walking into that hall in the Date with Freedom. Okay? So number three less, reason for joining is jampak ang lessons. Sino dito ang member na ng Date with Freedom? Pakisabi, jampak ba ang lessons? O oh, hindi, pakisabi na lang. Okay? <laughs> okay. Because it's, it contains nine days of training. Three live pre-event half-day training. So mga four hours times three. Two live pre-event webinars. So that's like four hours again. Two live seminar full days. That's like 16 hours, plus two post-event follow-up webinars, that's another eight hours, uh, four hours. So if you total that, I don't know, should be 40 hours of training. And these are all video and audio, and sometimes there are two, two versions of the video, and na, na, walang dull moment, I tell you, walang dull moment. Even I was laughing during the day one of the Day for Freedom. As in, alam nyo, narinig ko na yung talks nila, pero tawa pa rin ako ng tawa, as in, Aliyo talaga. Aliyo talaga. Okay? So, the total 9 days of training is only 14,085. And before you complain about that amount, remember that it's, you can earn that one week. In one week's time, if you get a part-time work online. That's every month. You still receive the 14,000 every month. Every week. Wala, every week. Kasi, ang rates na tinuturo ko sa inyo, when you go to the Day to Freedom, are really, really high. Matataas talaga. Okay, mga 30,000 and up. Monthly. Okay? Depending on your obedience to the rules of the, of the Day to Freedom. So, sobrang baba ng 14,085. Okay? So, to, to, to be able to get an excuse to resign from your work and be in demand. At ikaw na mag, ikaw na mag reject sa mga clients like Alfie did. Okay? So, 40,000, may guarantee pa kami na money back so you don't have to be afraid of for your money and it's much better use of your money than putting it in the bank account because in the bank account you get negative uh, increase of money because of inflation you keep it there it doesn't earn more than inflation you lose money this one if you put it in your mind put it in your mindset put it in your confidence like putting the money in your con sayo pumupunta kasi training to eh Sino ba namang makakatanggal ng training sa katawan mo? Wala. Pag nakuha mo yung training, nakuha mo na yung training. Ganun yun. Ito yun. So, we're also opening a downloadable version installment plan for those na, oh, sige, ayaw ko ng 14, gusto ko ibigay sa BPI ang 14 ko. Fine. Then, ibigay mo yung portion of that, uh, 3645 for 4 months. So, there's a brand new installment plan. Um, jhilar.com, freedom downloadable install. Haba, pero madaling matandaan, di ba? <laughs> for... Four months lang, okay? So, wala ka nang iniisip ma mabigat, mabigat na, ano, na 14,000. It's just three, six a month, okay? So, those those are the two uh, places to go uh, when you want to get the downloadable version of the Date with Freedom, all right? Um, I just have a commercial after this. Um, I be, I'll be in Bacolod uh, this Friday to talk about... Uh, online marketing for businesses. So if you're in Bacolod, if you're in Cebu, you can fly in. If you're in Iloilo, you can fly in or take the boat. If you're in Dumaguete, take the boat and join us uh, in the Business and Money Summit in Bacolod. Um, it's going to be Saturday, 8 to 6 p.m. And please um, just Google mo na lang, Business and Money Summit in Bacolod. And I will not be the only speaker. And dami, dami, dami speakers there. So, if you're in Cebu, you want to meet me, take a picture, uh, give me a gift, wink, 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 wink. So, just, just meet me there, okay? And this is for, this is this one last one. This is one last announcement before we go back to, ano, to Abby. If you want to receive uh, an iPad Nano from me, no kidding, as in hindi fake, totoong Apple, 
product na may laman ng marketing audio materials, then pay, pay attention. Okay? This is an opportunity for you to get something for free from me na high value. The iPad Nano itself is high value, but ang laman niya, nilalagay ko sa'yo, will transform your mind from employ employment thinking to entrepreneur thinking. And this is how you can do it. This coming so September 3, so Thursday, if you want to learn from me directly, this is one of the few places that I do public speaking now. If you want to learn directly from me um, in the Marketing Success Formula meeting, all you need to do is bring a business owner with you. This business owner must be making at least 10 million pesos a year. Okay? You bring a business owner uh, with you, you only pay 1,000 pesos for the food. Okay? Normally, the payment is around 10,000 pesos. But your first time to attend, you bring a business owner, first time you mag attend, kayo will only pay 1,000 bucks. Now, why, why would I want to do that? Okay? Because I want business owners to get to know yung program ko na marketing success formula. For them kasi, hindi enough ang webinar. Kailangan may live meeting. So, September 3 is the Thursday, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, at Rosewood Point uh, in Akasha Estates in Taguig. You just tell us you want to come with a business owner who's making 10 million pesos minimum a year. Okay? So, out na dito yung mga perspective na wala pang kinikita. And just join us. Now, if you bring a person who, who, who wants to join the marketing success formula, magbayad siya for the October meeting, then I will give you, okay, I will give you the iPad Nano in the October meeting. Hindi totoo to na merong who invited the most number of qualified entrepreneurs. Anybody who brings someone who joins the marketing success formula will receive a loaded iPad Nano in the next meeting. As long as your friend or or contact joins us uh, and pays for the October meeting and the succeeding lessons. Yun lang. Sobrang simple. An opportunity for you to reach out to your uh, weak links, yung mga entrepreneur na kilala nyo. And, and your, the entrepreneur will learn how how I did the autopilot, continuation of the autopilot ano, lessons. And I'm going to teach mobile video marketing. And I'm going to teach something about company brand marketing during that MSF event. So that's something you can picture on you to, pakita niya sa, ano, sa entrepreneur friend or contact ninyo. Doesn't have to be your friend, sa tao lang. So tingin ko nga friend, dapat hindi. Dapat ano lang, dapat, uh, dapat contact mo lang. Okay? So that's it. The only person who is educated is the one who has learned how to learn and change, sabi ni Carla Rogers. So, please let us know your questions for Abby starting now. Okay ba? Starting now, magtanong na kayo. Tapos na aking announcement. Abby, kamusta na? May natatanong ba? Dito po. <laughs> di, di, ikaw na magkwento. Ano ang details ng VA202? Mukhang mas gusto nila si VA202. <laughs> The 802 course is all about Facebook marketing. At saka kasali din po doon yung LinkedIn marketing. Marketing of uh, Mr. J. McLean. So, sa Facebook ads, bale, it's all about um, creating ads. So, dapat alam mo yung mga basic principles paano ka mag-create ng ads. So, yung image at saka yung text na ilalagay mo doon sa magiging ad mo, dapat ano siya, uh, dapat mag-coincide talaga siya. So, kung ipapakita mo na uh, what you call that, na ad ay effective siya or showing pain or promise, so, i ano mo siya, parang i-feel mo siya na pag binasa mo to, magugustuhan ng mga uh, audience yung ads mo. So, i-evaluate mo rin siya. So, meron din po tayong fina-follow na, um, what you call that, yung, yung ad, I mean, image requirement plus yung text based ng Facebook uh, rules na dapat 20% lang yung text ang nakalagay doon. So, i-follow din po natin yun para ma-approve din siya na Facebook. At saka meron din po siya mga restrictions. So, uh, hindi na po tayo mag, uh, gagamit ng mga 
work at home, yung mga earn online, so medyo strict na po si Facebook. So, in the long run, may matutunan ka din pag nagraran ka ng Facebook ads. So, dapat mag-stick ka rin doon sa rules ni Facebook. And then, aside sa Facebook, kailangan mo rin matutunan paano ka gumawa ng landing page. So, uh, ito yung magiging signed up form kung saan uh, your targeted audience will place their email address. At saka makukuha mo na yung email address pag once na i-enter nila yon So, dapat uh, maganda din po yung landing page mo. Ganon. So, consistent din po siya doon sa ginawa mong Facebook ads. And then, actually, maraming, ano eh, maraming gamay ang, ano eh, ang Facebook ads. So, dapat isusulat mo rin yung step by step hanggang sa mabuo mo yung Facebook ads. And one thing, um, yung power editor, ganun. So, dapat alam mo rin kung anong link, anong text or image ang ilalagay mo doon, anong magiging target audience mo, ang schedule ng posting mo, tapos what is your possible um, budget per day, tapos yung sa target audience mo, dapat specify mo talaga siya if possible kung saan ang target education mo, yung age requirement, or yung male ba siya or female ba siya or both male and female. So, uh, kailangan mo rin talaga pag-aralan, lalong lalap sa Power Editor. Tsaka may, ano naman po, may uh, makikita na po naman tayong tutorial kahit sa YouTube regarding sa pag-create ng customized audience, let's say, uh, sa YouTube. Doon ko na lang din po na, ano, na, what do you call that, nalaman kung paano siya gawin. So, naging resourceful lang din po ako. So, added knowledge din po yun. At sya ka, sa katatanong ko rin po dun sa fellow FB ad specialist din na kumuha ng ba 2 kay Kuya Jomar. Tapos, ang kailangan din po natin sa ba 2 ay yung payment method natin. So, halimbawa, debit or credit card ba siya? So, ilalagay din po natin yun sa uh, sa Power Editor, yung kung gagawa tayo ng ads. So, eto na yung uh, way na mababayaran natin si Facebook pag nag-post na po tayo ng Facebook ads. So, aside din po, gagawa din po tayo ng Facebook page. So, kailangan yun para maging, lalo na po yung business page, mas safe po yun siya yung mag-create po ng uh, business page. So, para in case na hindi type ni ano ni Facebook yung pinos mo na ads tapos karon tapos ngayon eh gusto niya na kakancel yung account mo or yung close yung account mo at least hindi maapektuhan yung personal account niya so yun lang po kay Jomar ba ba kaya So, maganda ko yan, Jomar. Kukuha sila ng VA to para maintindihan nila. <laughs> Sensya na kayo. Uh, ano yung sabihin na flag ang account ko sa Facebook ads? Ano yung sabihin na flag? Binan ka nila? Gumawa ka ng bagong account. Ako din, ban ako eh. <laughs> o, oh, natry ko rin. Ano, ano din yan? Naka-experience din po ako niyan kay Jomar. So, gumawa din po ako ng bagong ah. account. Bagong FB account, ganun lang. Huwag mo ulitin yung pangalan mo sa bagong account mo, baliw. Oo. <laughs> ganun lang. Bagong pangalan lang. Ganun hmm. lang. Ang tanong eh, di ba, sa amin nagtatanong, mahal daw ang Facebook ads. Bumili ng Facebook ads. Ikaw na sumagot. Ay, yung investment mo, pag binayaran ka na, ano ka na eh, bawing-bawi ka na. Hindi, ang situpo niya sa pagbili ng Facebook ads. Ano po? Ah, Facebook ads. Uh, may na nakaset naman po siya na ano, budget for a day. So, kung halimbawa mag-experiment lang po kayo, so it's better na if iset lang muna siya sa yung pinaka-minimum na budget. Kasi dito sa atin, 40 pesos ang minimum budget. So, mag-set lang po tayo ng 40 pesos tapos um, i-run po siya ng 4 days. 
para makita mo yung effect niya. Kasi dati, Kajomar, yung nagtetest pa lang ako, niran ko lang po siya ng one day. So, syempre, konti lang yung conversion. Kasi napapansin ko, let's say, first day, two conversions. Pagdating ng second day, nagiging 10 na siya. Pag, pagdating ng third day, nagiging 20 na siya. So, dapat pala, noon pa lang, yung nagtetest pa lang ako, ginawa ko na siya dapat na four days. Pero in the long run, eh, na-learn ko rin na kung magtetest ng ads, if possible, four days siya. Para makita mo yung ano, yung kung effective ba yung Facebook ads mo. May question pa po. Si Joy, meron siyang specific question sa ginagawa niya sa Facebook ads. Hindi, hindi, pang, hindi para sa'yo. Huwag na lang yun. Kasi hindi. Apa. Uh, very specific na question eh. Mm -hmm. Gusto ko lang sabihin na kung kayo ay nagpaparami ng likes ng FB page nyo, mali ang ginagawa ninyo. <laughs> <laughs> hindi kami nagpaparami ng likes sa FB page nyo. Okay. Ah, okay po. Diba? Hindi naman yun ang goal eh. Conversions ang goal. Unless yung client mo matigas ang ulo, gusto niya magparami ng likes. Okay, fine. Ah, uh, yan yung isang client ko kay Jomar. <laughs> matigas ang ulo niya. Basta may pera. Oo, oh, eh di yun ang gusto niya eh. <laughs> okay lang yun. Basta masaya naman siya sa gusto niyang gawin. At uh -huh. ay, hindi ko kinumayon to sa kanila na sabi ng kliyente mo, ano? Ano yan? Salary is not a... Ay! Opo! Salary is not an issue. Ulitin po. Say it slowly. Sal Sabi salary lang, is not oh. an issue. Sayang so, ano ako, Jomar. Eh. Nilimit ko yung rate na binigay ko. Painis. <laughs> Nakainis talaga. Sabi niya po. Kasabi niya yung ganun. At saka hindi ko po yun in-expect ka, Jomar. Kasi ang hinahanap niya lang po is Facebook ad specialist. Nagtaka ko binigla niya akong ginawang team leader. Kaya sabi ko, may gali. Um, kaya sinasabi ko na sarili ko na, okay, okay, okay. Ito na yung isipin mo. Courage is equal to doubt plus action plus commitment. Yan na lang lagi kong sinasabi sa sarili ko. <laughs> Ginawa kang team leader, di sabihin mo, I charge you time. Ano ba? So, Oo. Oh, Pagbinigyan so, ka na... Gagawin ito ng higher. Yeah. Pag charge ka ng higher... Iba ng work yes. rate. Apo. Eh, nagpa-plano naman po talaga siya na charge higher. Tsaka yung kasama ko rin po na si Christine. Kasi ngayon, nasa testing stage pa rin po kasi kami. So, may mga pinapagawa pa po siya. Yan lang. Sige. Very good. Kung <laughs> 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 tayo ng kliyento ng ano, conversion, basta may pera siya, okay lang yan. Gusto niya ng likes, okay lang yan. Basta may pera siya. Kung wala siya, oh, pero, okay, huwag ka munang pagtrabahuan yan. <laughs> okay. May usapan na sila, hindi ko na hindihan. Okay, mag-goodbye na lang kay, ano, two minutes na lang, kay Abby. Wala oh, na kayong tanong kay Abby. Meron oh. pa po ba? Oo, oh, kasi nag-uusap na sila eh. Okay lang yan, mag-usap kayo. Okay lang naman sa amin yan. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for joining everyone. Okay. Mag meeting thank you na so si much. So, Opo. <laughs> gotta go. You gotta go. Okay. Opo. So, thank you for staying to the uh, Thank you, Alf Alfie. Thank you, Alfie. God bless. God bless din po. God bless sa lahat. Basta go, go, go lang po. Rock the world. <laughs> <laughs> Rock and roll ba? <laughs> Rock and roll the world. Very good. Okay. Since you're at the end of the webinar, as, as promised, if you are still staying with us, it's uh, 10 o'clock. Naka one hour na ako, I will be teaching you how to start your online presence for newbies and non-techies. Specific, specifically for people na, ano bang pwede kong gawin ngayon? Limbawa, katulad ko noon, isa ka, sabi mo, isa ka ang pobreng alindahaw. You have nothing. Halimbawa lang. Halimbawa. So I'm gonna teach you something that you can start right now. Right now, right now, right now.
So ito yun. How do you start your online presence for newbies and non-techies? Very mabilis lang to, probably five minutes. And my my goal here, teaching you this new skill, set of skills actually, is to open your mind para makita nyo may pwede ka palang gawin para mag, habang nagsisimula ka, okay? If you have learned from me in the past, then dagdag nyo na lang ito sa mga matututunan ninyo, okay? Some of, the, some of these things, alam nyo na, but let's start it, right? How do you start an online presence? Na unang-una, para, para sa online presence, pag kayo po ay nagtrabaho sa internet, yun ang unang hahanapin ng kliyente sa inyo, online presence. Kung wala po kayong yan, ngayon pa lang gumawa na kayo kasi it doesn't work kung bukas ang interview mo, ngayon kagagawa ng online presence. Pangit. Dapat may laman na yan. Mayroon silang makikita na hindi Facebook mo na nag-a-attend ng party. <laughs> o nasa beach kayo, naka bikini ka. Hindi yun ang online presence. Okay? Facebook is personal. You want a person to be impressed. Okay? Okay? Okay, DSL, ready na? Okay, ito na. So, so, ito na yung first lesson. The first way to start an online presence is the, the most basic way. And that is to write simply. Hindi write high-tech. Simply ka lang magsusulat. And the most obvious place to write simply would be a blog like jomarhilari.com or go to wordpress.com and start writing something. Or even medium.com as in hello. Huwag na wordpress. Medium na lang para sobrang simple. Medium.com is a place for people who love to write. Now, inuna ko na lang writing para matanggal na natin siya sa usapan. Kasi a lot of people, hindi some, takot naman magsulat. Takot kasi yung grammar masama, ganun. Kahit na ba, sinasabi natin pa ulit-ulit na ang mga magagaling magsulat, magaling lang yan mag-proofread. Or, or humble sila, maparaan sila enough para maghanap ng tao na magaling mag-proofread at pinapaproofread nila yung trabaho nila. At tingin mo ba si Brother Bo, hindi nagkakamali sa pagtatype? Siyempre nagkakamali, marami siyang proofreader. I have a book. I'm making my book, right? And did you know how many people proofread my book? Siguro more than 10. <laughs> more than 10 people proofread my book. Ganong katindi. So, if you know at least how to write and you have the humility and the paraan, paraan, to ask people or go to ginger.com and ask them to, to check your grammar, which is free, <laughs> go ahead and do it. Kasi wala namang bayad si ginger, ginger software, para i-check yung grammar. Ang mga tao ang kilala mo, pag pinabasa mo yung short, short essay mo, hindi mo nang kailangang bayaran para i-check yung essay mo. It's really a matter of you being willing. Yun lang. Okay. So that's writing. Now, to write tonight, you go to facebook.com slash notes and makikita mo mayroong option write a note sa right side. Nakita niya yan? Write a note. So, click on write a note and start writing whatever you want to write. And... And this is very simple. Meron lang place to type. You can upload pictures. Very simple. And then, tenen! Meron akong image, meron akong text. Eh, Jomar, bakit hindi ko na nalagay sa Facebook status ko? Because you don't want to just write a short word. You want something na mukhang online presence. Hindi yung, I like this movie, picture of movie. Ano pa yun? Hindi online presence yun. You write simply, but you don't write a few lines. Okay? Now, if you like to write, na kung ayaw mo mag-write, it's okay. Number two, use lots of images and captions for each images. One of the biggest websites in the world started a few years ago, mga three years ago, and the name of that site is Uncrate. Alam niyo ba ang Uncrate? Meron, may gumaya niyan sa Philippines, ha? As in, so, paano? Ang dali-dali. Kumuha ka ng picture ng produkto, like a deodorant, Kunin mo yung description sa Amazon ng deodorant as i-post mo. Kumuha ka ng picture ng binoculars na maganda itsura. Hindi hindi ko gumawa ng picture, ah. kinuha lang yan sa internet. Tapos kunin mo yung description ng produkto sa Amazon or sa official website as ilagay mo. The Uncrate website contains expensive products with pictures, isa lang, hindi marami. One picture of the product, one, one description, very short. Yan na yun, yan na yun. At dinequat lang lahat yan sa Amazon. And ang daming pupunta dito. Alam nyo bakit? Yung taong pumipili sa Uncrate or the team that selects for Uncrate, images and caption lang ginagawa. Ang, ang pinaparating nila, magaling silang pumili ng produkto. That's it. 
pinaparating nila, pag pinili namin yan, maganda yan. Hindi pa naman nila ginagamit. Kasi minsan may kotse dyan eh. So, what they just do, take a picture, get a picture online, get a description from Amazon, and then put it in the blog. And this is a very famous website for men who wants to buy stuff. Very famous. Now, do you want to be the female version of Uncrate? Go ahead. Gawin mo siya. Go to WordPress or Medium. Pwede sa Medium. Tapos saksakan mo ng image, caption. Image, caption. Image, caption. Yung mga tamad na vloggers ngayon, yun lang ginagawa nila. Pupunta sila sa Kidzania. Picture, caption. Picture, caption. Picture, caption. Pwede na yun. Okay. Next, you talk over things without showing your face. Specifically, one of the most popular websites, uh, YouTube channels on the planet is somebody talking over things without showing her face. And that website or YouTube channel is called Disney Collector or Fun Toys Collector. Sobrang dami, dami, daming bata na pumunta sa website na to. Uh, sorry, uh, YouTube channel. And you never know the face of the girl who, who, who looks at the, the toys. And she just buys Disney toys, or maybe Disney sends it to her eh, for free na. Two days ago, she had 300,000 views on one video na Play-Doh. And it's just pani Disney. pani Disney lang. E Jomar, mayaman siya. Nung nagsimula siya, siyempre one video muna. Don't tell me walang Disney product sa bahay niyo. Or Marvel product sa bahay niyo. Or all those kinds of excuses. There are so many things you can touch and describe. Itong batang to, by the way, bata to. She just takes things, you know, like I take this bottle of cologne, and describes it. Opens the box, and the box is pink. It says the word Play-Doh in front. Like, Hello, kaya nyo, kaya nyo naman gawin yun, no? It, it just so happens that it gusto niya Disney. Okay. Next. So, this is talk over things without showing your face. Next one is just talk. Don't even use video. And the output for talk is called a podcast, the iTunes podcast. So when you create a podcast, you have to follow the instructions on how to make one. Though may mga picture yan, it's really just audio, pure audio. So to create an online presence, gumawa ka ng iTunes podcast. How do you do that? You go to YouTube, look for how to create an iTunes podcast. Actually, hindi. Kumuha ka ng cellphone mo, i-record mo sarili mo, dumadal dal about whatever it is you want to talk about. Tagalog, English. I have a podcast, it's Taglish. So, don't tell me you're not good at talking. Everybody knows how to talk. You talk, normal talk, whatever topic it is, usually one, one theme lang yan, hindi, hindi siya basta anything in, under the sun. Like, lahat ng movies if you mo, lahat ng gusto mong palabas sa TV, lahat ng political stuff na gusto mong pag-usapan, lahat na nangyayari sa anak mo, basta one topic lang. And just talk regularly, like every week. And then find out some YouTube how to upload an iTunes podcast. Simply, Meron ka ng online presence. And for those uh, being afraid of shame now, don't worry, nobody will listen to the podcast. Just like yung mga writings mo, nobody will read those writings. The, the online presence purpose is once people look for you online, they find something. Hindi lang Facebook mo. The purpose is to show that you're actively doing something online, not just putting pictures in Facebook. So, if you're worried, naku, baka mapa mapahiya ako sa friends mo. Hindi mo papakita sa friends mo to. <laughs> Neither will your friends think na meron kang podcast. So, forget about the fear of shame. People are not gonna find your stuff online. There's way too much stuff online to think na maging popular ka na overnight sensation. Hindi, hindi po yun nangyayari agad-agad. Kung naging popular, hindi mo papasalamat ka sa akin. Okay? Lastly, Teach using slide presentations, no voice. So just create PowerPoint and then put it in slide share. PowerPoint that's self-explanatory. Katulad ng turo ko sa sa Liquid Freedom. So if you open it up, meron siyang number of slides. If you learn from me, usually your slides are 100 slides kasi the slides talk to you. Pero yung mga hindi magagaling gumawa ng slides, usually mga 25 lang, ganyan. Kasi hindi masyadong conversational yung ginagawa nila sa slides. But all you need to do when you create slides is copy the best, like this one, slide comment. You see how they make their slides? Gayahin mo lang. Pati font, gayahin mo. And that way you can create a slide that looks very professional. Or if you don't know how to get make one, just go to the Date with Freedom. I'll teach you how to make excellent slides on day one pa lang.
Okay, so that's that's it. That the starting your online presence. The first one is write simply using medium. The second one is uh, to write with captions and pictures. The third one is to vo uh, voice over and touch things using video. The third one is to just you talk, just talk, MP3 style. <laughs> Uh, na lang using your phone as a recorder. And the third one is to teach using presentations and slide share. So why do I want to teach you this? Because I want you to have a virtual presence, online presence, before the virtual careers book comes out because I'm going to ask you to do something. Ayan. So alam niyo ulterior motive. I teach you a skill, but I want you to do, use it for something. It's important for you to know na meron purpose yung ginagawa mo. Hindi lang, ay, magkakaroon ako ng blog or ay, magkakaroon ako ng medium account. Ah, anin ko to. Don't worry, I'm gonna tell you what to do in the coming weeks. I'll email it to everyone what you need to do uh, with your uh, uh, online presence, okay? So, we're gonna be doing something together for the virtual careers book once it comes out. It's gonna come out this September 16 to 20 sa Manila International Fa uh, Book <laughs> Fair. <laughs> And I'm inviting you all to be there and so you can get signed copies of the book, okay? So that's all I got for you today. Uh, in summary, you learn na pwede pa lang pag, uh, pwede kang pagdumuga ng mga tao <laughs> kahit nagsisimula ka pa lang. At last year, um, Al Al Alfie downloaded the virtual assistant seminar and attended the date with freedom this year. And last year, she also got the VA202. Now, bakit ganun ang order? Kasi ang basic courses ko is VA seminar first in the downloadable 2013. Nung time yan, wala pang date with freedom. That is replaced by the date with freedom. That's the basic course. You need to get either VA 2013 or the date with freedom. For those of you na naintriga dun sa VA 202, here's, here's a warning. If you get VA 202, make sure ang taas ng confidence mo. Kasi hindi enough na marunong ka mag Facebook ads. Kailangan, kaya mong ipackage yung sarili mo online. And that's what the Date with Freedom is all about. You need to package yourself in a way na impressive sa, sa client. I mean, online to eh. Okay? They don't know where you studied. They don't know ang galing-galing mo. You have to prove it using an online presence. Ayan na, binigyan ko kayo ng technique how to start an online presence. And if you want to learn more, you go to get the Date with Freedom, get the downloadable or get the downloadable installment. And if you are already an experienced uh, online person, meron ka ng resume online, you've been working for a while in the internet, you want to upgrade your skills, you go get the VA202 para ma-indemand ka. Okay? So thank you so much for joining us today. Our practice is that uh, Nikki will answer your questions after the webinar. Ako, at ako I'm going to say goodnight. Thank you so much. And uh, please continue praying for the book and praying for me specifically para ma-protect ako na blood of Jesus while this book is happening okay? because this book the virtual of the virtual careers book is going to change a lot of lives and it's gonna reunite a lot of families uh, millions of families will benefit from this book and and congratulations you are gonna be part of it all right so thank you so much for joining us tonight and if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. Uh, Nikki will be online for you. God bless. I'll see you guys soon.